Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the Object 261. It's the Tier 10 Soviet SPG. This one's located on the north westbourne of Pearl River and it's under the command of Death Nub. And he's got one mark of excellence on that 18 centimeter barrel. Game on. Oh, I say 18 centimeter, that's the caliber. Now, this RT is one of the ones that could have been, but never actually was, because they never went ahead and actually built it. Yes, unfortunately, um, they actually had several designs to work with, uh, some which actually had a 152mm gun instead, but instead they decided for the 18cm, and uh, that was the, the plan, but they never went ahead and built the RT, because of course the war was over. Now it's capable of doing 800 alpha and it'll penetrate through 45 millimeters of armor with a 9.5 meter burst radius. Now he's decided to aim for the other end of the road on the way into the village and his first shot damages an E50 and gets a critical hit but only stuns a few. Well it only stunned the E50 actually for that matter and we can just see where the enemy RT is as well. He's actually just behind that group of houses near the enemy cap area just fired his shot and there's the other one he's actually around the back of the cap area behind the rock okay we're loaded ready to go rounds out splashes the viz 55 244 hit points now i i can say without revealing too much is that this team is rather good very good in fact actually this is probably one of the better teams that have actually actually managed to play the game recently okay he's loaded rounds out straight away and he damages that e50 again this time 225 and loads of stun assists as well yeah because our guys are already in the village by the time their guys tried to move in and it was just too late they left it way too late and obviously they suffered a lot of damage in the process. They've lost their E50 and there's Viz 55s about to go down. There are four tanks down already on this game, which is, shows you straight how good these guys were. Our guys are pushing through the heavy area. They're already on the way to the enemy cap. We're trying to get a shot on that Viz 55. If he backs up, we might be able to, but we've just spotted there's a CC1 Mark II He's just behind that rock and the round lands there, stuns him and loads of stun assists. The Amex 50B just unloaded into that CC1 Mark II and we got the benefit. 7-0 so far. Okay, we're looking around for targets to shoot at. It's precious little available. Okay, Sharp Future 4 making his way, rounds out. I think his shot landed closer to the Char Future 4 than his teammate in the other RT, which of course is a batch at 155.55. Okay, Udez, 1516. We're dialed in. He's holding that rock, which is a bit of a mistake when there's RT in the game, because of course you make yourself vulnerable to RT fire. We're loaded. Rounds out. And a splash hit for 135. Loads of track damage as well. Oh, masses of damage assist out of that one. And it's now 9 nil. 9 nil. There's one of the enemy RTs, the Object 261. Round the back and a 212A. We're just waiting for the shield to go into the breach so we can actually fire and kill them. The 261 would probably make the better kill because he's actually lower on hit points. But the round goes in and... Oh! Didn't get it. The Bosch died. That's the bat chat killing the Bosch. And the Object 261 probably would have been the better kill because he was low on hit points already, but he goes down. The bat chat, I think, was hug uh, the 2128A was hugging the rock. We did splash him. We know that we got some splash on him. He was missing hit points. 
So it looks like Death Nub is uh, the game's almost over. That's the batch, uh, the Chafu 24 direct hit for 343, the last enemy tank. He stunned him. Okay, this guy is going to die shortly because there's three tanks lined up against him. The game's about to close, and there he goes. And that is the end. Very, very quick game. Just under five minutes. Even though this game lasted only just under five minutes, it was an ace tanker game for Diffnub in the Object 261. And I think that was down purely to the assist he actually got in that game. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got six. And his win eight was only 745 because he didn't do a whole lot of actual damage in the game. But he did do a lot of assist damage. Let's have a look at Team Scott. Well, the highest damage in that game actually went to Arviz 55 with 5,057 hit points. Second highest damage was the Hori 3 with 4,028. And the third highest damage in that one was the STB 1 on our team with 2,661. We had some really hot players on our team. Death Nub only got 971 hit points of actual damage out of the game. When it came to kills, it was shared between the Hori 3 and the E75, who actually also got a Belots medal. And the Pascucci's. Now, the Blotz Medal is extremely rare because you have to suffer a huge amount of damage to your vehicle and still keep fighting uh, in order to... Um, I think it's you have to have so many critical hits and still be able to uh, continue fighting in the game. He also got three kills out of the game. So, Hori 3 got three. Uh, they got the highest number of kills. Two kills went to the IS-7. And I'm afraid Defnub didn't get any kills at all. But something you may have noticed, the enemy team didn't get any kills either, for that matter. So it was a 15-0 win in under five minutes. Not the fastest 15-0 that we've seen. It will go forward to the 15-0 category, but it's not the fastest one. When it came to the base XP, though, look at this. The 1390 managed to get 999. I think he was spotting for his team. 967 went to Death Nub because he got so much stun assist. And 907 went to the Viz 55. Death Nub fired only eight rounds. That's why he didn't get a whole lot of damage because it was such a small number of shells because it was uh, the game was over so quickly. Two direct hits on the enemy, no penetrations, but eight splash. Damage of 971 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged four of the enemy, didn't get any kills, but he did get 1,762 hit points of damage assistance by tracking someone and 3,924 hit points of stun assist off eight stuns. And that's where the ace tanker lied. The fact that he did so much damage, just under 5k of, uh, well, it's more than 5k, just under 6k, I should say, of actual stun uh, assist in that game. And that earned him the ace. He took away a profit of cre in credits of 48,641 on a premium count. Got seven bonds because it was tier 10. And 1,450 XP. He almost thought that this wouldn't be worth recording. It is worth recording because it was such a quick victory and such a quick ace. You don't get an ace normally off for so few rounds. But the fact that he did so much assist in this game earned him that ace tanker. So very well done indeed. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.